Okay, you two, the first time you ever played together at the US Open, you won the tournament in 2020. Here we are in 2023, you hadn't played together since then, and you're headed back to the final. What is it about this place and this team? Uh, well, we love to play here in New York. It's always a great support. A lot of people come to watch tennis, and we are enjoying the atmosphere. And, uh, you know, we support each other, and it's, we're happy that it's, uh, you know, it was coming our way here in New York. An incredibly solid team on the other side of the net today, but you guys managed 29 winners, just 13 unforced errors as a team. Laura, did it feel as good as it looked today? Yeah, I think we had an on day today, but um, we, uh, yeah, we prepared also really well. We had a clear strategy, and um, maybe, yeah, maybe they didn't have their best day, or we didn't, we made them have not their best day. Um, but I'm just really proud about us how we worked our way forward in this tournament, improved also. We also had really tough moments, so I'm happy it came together like this today. I remember asking you guys in 2020 on your way to the title what your routine was off the court, how much time you spent together. And if I'm remembering correctly, you just said, you know what, we kind of do our own thing and we come together and we do really well on the court. Is that still the case? Uh, yes. yes, I guess we're keeping the same routines all the time. And, uh, you know, during the tournament, we, we focus on our trainings, on the next matches. And when the tournaments are finished, uh, we, we get the chance to, to have something outside of the tennis court. Well, we cannot wait to see you both in the final. Dabrowski and Routleff next. Let's hear it one more time. Laura Siegemund and Vera Zvonareva.